Hey everyone, it's Blood and I'm back with another stuff. Today is Friday, June 25th, and it is the morning time, guys. It is roughly 6, 5.40 a.m. Central Time, and I have an absolute ton to talk to you guys about today. I'm home, as you guys can see, um, and I have so much to talk to you guys about. I promise you I've got a bunch to talk to you guys about. Stick with me here. This might go a little bit long, but I promise you there's just an absolute ton of information to go over today, guys. Um, first of all, um, let's just hop right into it. Uh, we're going to be talking about VV today, guys. A lot of VV stuff, and uh, let's do it. First of all, spreadsheet is going to be linked in the description down below, as you guys know, just like back in the olden days. First of all, I added prices this morning onto the spreadsheet, updated every single thing, portfolio calculators and all. Everything is ready to go on the spreadsheet. Go ahead and start using that again. The floodgates should be open now. It's all ready to go for you guys. Um, it's all ready. I have already got all the Givenchy posters down here. I added the... Um, the two bombshells up here by Big Barda and Starfire, but I promise you guys they're all on here. I updated the prices a couple times so far just to try to make sure that they're on point. I'll probably update a couple of the prices. What I've noticed is that a couple of the prices are fluctuating pretty heavily right now, so I probably will be updating a couple of these prices throughout the day just because of some newer NFTs. All right, guys. Um, with that being said, since I adjusted, since I updated the spreadsheet today, which is Friday, I'm just going to switch it up. I'm just going to be updating the spreadsheet on Fridays and Tuesdays now. Um, just a slight change up there, just because I just want to make sure I can get this into a routine right away and make sure I'm bringing you guys just great information. But that's where we're at right now. I'm going to be talking, as a matter of fact, that's actually the next thing I want to talk about was a couple of NFT prices. First of all, talking about death, all right? So death is a bombshell, so that's going to be right here. Right now, got death floating around 140-ish. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the lowest price will be exactly at the moment you're watching this. It's 140-ish right now, though. Um, it's a pretty decent increase. I bought a death at 140, okay? I want you guys to know that I did buy a death at $140. We will talk about that in, a, in just a brief moment. You guys can tell me if you guys want to follow that trend or not. But what I do want to point out is that there is not very many additions. Um, of death, I foresee it going up a little bit, which is why I purchased one at 140. Obviously, wouldn't have done that if I didn't think that was going to happen. All right, guys. Next NFT we have to talk about is the Gavanchi poster. This NFT has jumped like a hundred dollars in a day. This poster is sitting at 375 on the market right now, guys. 375. I made a video telling you guys. I was going to buy, I bought this NFT two days ago when the price was way lower than this. I don't even remember what I bought it for, but it was not 375 It wasn't even 275 right? So all I got to say is I kind of knew that was coming, right, guys? Tell me I didn't predict that, all right? Tell me I didn't predict that, guys. I know this stuff. I'm OP. I've told you guys this before. I'm going to shout out a couple of people who commented on that video with some absolute amazing comments. So stick with me. Stay tuned. I promise you, Mark Mayhew and VV Vault, you guys definitely need to stick around. And I promise you there's even more people that you guys that are going to get shouted out here. So do not, do not leave. Um, last but not least, I want to talk about Superman. Superman has been climbing and climbing and climbing this morning. Superman is pretty much at its all-time high. I am not surprised at all by that. The Marvel announcement... Um, and all that. But but quickly, before we get to the Marvel announcement, I really want to quickly just mention one thing. One thing I was thinking about. Right now, we've got Tropicana at like 40 bucks right now, right? 40 bucks. It's been sitting around 40 For people that maybe are super new, what I want you guys to know is for a while... You couldn't get Tropicana for under like 90 bucks. There was just no way to do it. It was expensive, okay? So... I think that the the sentiment on the app is changing a little bit. I think that 
now that there's starting to be more of a variety of NFTs, getting ultra rares, getting rarity will be important. Low editions will be important. And of course, I think branding will be most important of all. That's just my thoughts. I mean, if I'm looking at it right now, like why, like answer me this, why has Tropicana not recovered up back to 80 bucks? Right. Why has it not recovered back up to 80 bucks? Answer me that if you disagree. All right, guys, man, we still have so much to talk about. All right, guys, next we are going to pop off the spreadsheet because we have this Marvel article here. Marvel is coming to VV, guys. You guys already know about this, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse. You guys already know this, but there is one thing I wanted to point out in the article that might be getting overlooked. Maybe people are talking about it, but this is the one thing that maybe I just really want to point out, and it's really just this. So it says, users will be able to purchase gems, VV's in-app currency, with their credit card via in-app payments and will have the ability to to cash out gems and will have the ability to cash out gems. The fact that this is in this article, this is an article on marvel.com. The fact that they have this snippet in this article makes me so freaking hopeful, man. This app would absolutely change games if there's just like a way to like cash out right? If there was an easy, simple way to cash out, no questions asked, I mean, that that would change the game. Um, so I just want to point that quick little snippet out, that sentence out, because I thought that that was of utmost importance. Um, and I thought that sentence really, that stood out to me out of this entire article. I'm thinking like, wow, I can't believe that this was included on an in an article on Marvel, something that they haven't really even necessarily been touting heavily to their own community. So I thought that was interesting. Anyways, guys. All right. Reddit shout outs. As usual, you guys already know. This is the first one I want to talk about. Slight thing to talk about this one. So this is from Kate Coop Jedi. He says, use time gate got you are still not cool though. Dev should fix it. Everyone. So everyone is on the same playing field. This man got 767 death. Congrats to you, my friend. First of all, that is an absolute banger nft appreciate you keep collecting my guy but next thing i want to talk about is is timegate unfair that's the next thing i want to talk about what is more fair if everybody knows how to use timegate and everybody tries to use it or if we go back to the old way where you try to click on the page and it doesn't load and you have to go back and click on the page and sometimes it loads sometimes it doesn't what's more fair timegate or that the old system. I'm kind of curious about it. Timegate does. I understand why people think Timegate seems unfair, but to me, if everybody did Timegate, it would actually be slightly more fair in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys' thoughts are about that. Um, next, we got a post from Aggressive Alarm 1146. I can see VV drop this set someday in the near future. Super villain set. How cool would that be? That would be absolutely dope, dude. And this is just one set of villains bro there are way 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 more cool villains in the marvel universe i'm not saying that these ones aren't cool but there are more awesome villains too man i'm excited for it i'm excited for villains all right this is uh aromatic war 3895 absolutely love the community here vv is such a great has such a great strategy set in place to really set themselves up for crazy potential they have down the road long-term holder here um, I agree. I love the community. I love everybody. I, bro, everybody knows this, man. This app is so special to me, man. It just, it, it it's different. So appreciate you, Aromatic War. I totally agree. I'm with you 100%. Next, got to shout out Wesley Expressly. My man showed us into his vault. I really want to take you around this corner, though, because man's got a death. Man's got the Harley. Don't know his additions, but I'm assuming they're fire. Man's got the full set there. Serial killers, full set there. Man, oh my lord, look at all these sets, guys. Look at all these sets. Look at that. Full set. Bang, 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 bang. My man's got sets for days. Shout out, Wesley Expressly. I appreciate you, man. Keep collecting, my man. I appreciate you. Next, we got um, X Black Demon X Harley Quinn Deluxe sold for 60 gems a couple minutes ago on the, on the official store, and now I see it going for 50. Um, how dumb are people? They're not the smartest um but i think i think that one of these answers actually 
makes sense. This one right here. I think like some people buy it and they think it's going to be worth a lot. They find out it's not worth a lot. So they actually want to get a better cereal. And so maybe they're willing to eat a loss to get, try to get a better cereal or something like that. Maybe that makes sense to me. Um, but that's all we got. Now, this is my video uh, from the other day. This is from two days ago where I asked you guys, where I told you guys I bought the Givenchy poster, first of all, and where I asked you guys what you guys thought the prices of death was going to be. First of all, I want to say that as of right now, VV Vault is winning kind of, but I did say two days after the drop. It's only one day after the drop. We you know the floor the price kind of bottoms out and then climbs but right now i mean vv vault sitting at 140 absolutely perfect but there's a couple people i want to shout out first of all vv vault of course because look at this due to people like me flipping for more pride posters this was a day ago this man has been grabbing pride posters for thumbs up this man has been grabbing pride posters and we see that price pump guys and we see that price pump vv vault sitting on a fatty bag of pride posters i already know vv vault man vv vault's the homie appreciate you vv vault as usual I, I feel like i'm always shouting out vv vault but this man is always on point um we're gonna come back to this video um once uh once we'll give it another day and we'll come back to this video and check on the prices a little bit more but one other post i wanted to shout out is my homie mark mayhew look at this picked up a Givenchy poster for 210 today proving great minds think alike because this is the day i posted i bought mine mark mayhew bought one for 210 they are sitting at 375 right now mark mayhew bro you're op i'm op vv vault op anybody else that that listened is op let's go baby let's go all right guys last thing i think i have on my agenda is omi coin market cap omi trading at 0 0.002082 omi can be your homie i'm not going to be your dad and nothing in this video is financial advice as you guys know but what we do know is we did see an omi bump of due to the marvel announcement I heard some bigger announcements coming up. I don't know what's true, what's not. I'm not a speculator. I just kind of go with the flow, but we'll see, guys. What I wanted, one last thing I want to say is if VB times all this stuff out perfectly, if they're able to drop NFL NFTs just like right as the NFL season starting and get it in front of the fans that are going to be the more inclined to collect, man, this is going to change the game. And, uh, we're in early. I mean, I, I've been saying that for months, guys. Anybody that's been rocking with me since the beginning, I appreciate everybody out here. I remember back in the day, you know, everybody out there, there really wasn't a ton of VV content on YouTube. But we've grown, man. We've grown, baby. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing, guys. I appreciate everybody out there. Have a fantastic Friday. We dang near made it to the weekend. Just grind through this last day, guys. I believe in you guys. I don't actually have to work today. But uh, we got the weekend right around the corner. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.